welcome to Bad Ones! <laughs> we never get here on the day when they have the special. And it's like it's Wednesday. I'm loving it. It's a gumbo day. So are you going to have the gumbo? Oh no, I can't stand gumbo. Everybody loves to come back to Route 66. I know when I was a kid, we traveled from California to Oklahoma. Made the trip on most of Route 66. You never know what you're gonna find, the weird little antique mall, the out of the way diner. It's bringing a lot of nostalgia back for when, from when people traveled the road as an adventure. We headed on down 10 through the uh, big town of Braggs and uh, headed for Greenleaf State Park. Well, we sauntered down uh, Highway 123 and we're here in Bartlesville and about to starve to death, so we thought we'd find some place to have lunch. Yeah, so this is Big Spring. The spring's actually up in the hole there. It's uh, definitely the most popular spot for the kids to come in the park and play in the fall. So six million gallons a minute. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting close. You're getting closer. <laughs> Route 66 was the first commissioned U.S. Federal Highway. It finished in 1926, ran from Chicago to California, and made cross-country commerce accessible to everyone. It captured the imagination and the adventurous spirit in all who traveled it, and continues to do so to this day. Jerry Jones, Mayor of Spavanaugh. How long have you been mayor? Uh, this is my second term. Second term. You gonna run again? I think this will be my last one. Oh, we're gonna retire, hang it up? Yeah, well, I've been the chief of police here, and I've been on the city council and the mayor, so I've had a pretty good round of it. So you've been busy, not all at the same time, I think. No, not all at the same okay. time. Okay. <laughs> Out of Willow Rock, we continued up 123, and it, it's it's actually a fairly scenic road. It's, it's real wide open. Um, there's spots on it where you can look across and see for miles through some of the valleys. And it's, it's not really used much, it hasn't been built up much, so it really does look like it has for hundreds of years since the dinosaurs were there. So maybe we're talking like five or six hundred years. We decided we'd take us a ride up Oklahoma State Highway 123 today. And uh, Barnstall is where it begins. And so that's why we stopped here in Barnstall, home of America's only Main Street oil well. Legend has it that this was the first oil well that was struck here in Barnstall, which back then was called Big Heart. But uh, then they, they sold out when the oil company moved here and they called it Barnstall. But there's some people that claim that they built the street around the oil well. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but... It's too bad the dairy go-round isn't still open because they had really good Frio pie. Is that the dairy go-round? Yeah, that was the dairy go-round. Was the dairy go-round. When was the Rock Cafe actually built? The Rock Cafe was built over a period of about four years from 1936 until it opened in 1939. Okay. 
And most of what we're seeing here today, that's that's the real Rock Cafe. I mean, yes. that's the 1939 Rock. This is the absolutely part. the 1939 version of the Rock Cafe. You uh, you actually kind of have a claim to uh, fame and fortune yourself in a, in a certain movie, I understand. <laughs> Yeah, um, I guess so. I uh, got to be an inspiration for a cartoon character in the movie Cars. Okay, and that was the little blue Porsche. And that was Sally Carrera. So what's in the future for Don Welch and the Rock Cafe? What's in the future? More of the same, I hope. You know, um, let's not have another fire. Um, <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk about the fire. That, that's, I, I almost didn't want to bring it up. But I, I understand that it was just about devastated the building almost. Yeah, yeah, I think the most, um, I think most normal people would have moved on. Uh, again, that was something that um, I couldn't do. We lost 95% of our building. So it was literally just the rock wall still yeah, standing. Just, well, and, and you can't dismiss the actual foundation of the Rock oh, Cafe okay. because it's special concrete. So, wow, um, really? So that actually helped save the building? Yes, wow. yes. So it's very special and we, I've always loved the, the concrete floor and it's something that I've talked about a lot. Right. So what's the best thing on the menu? What's the best thing on the menu? I always tell, I like to tell people that I took all the really crappy food off of the menu a few years ago okay. and I kept all the really great things that I loved. So it's, it's all the hits all the time. I think it's all pretty amazing. Okay. Well, we're dying to uh, have lunch. So uh, let's go see. Let's go pick a favorite. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We stopped at the Round Barn to uh, to take a look and uh, and see what that was all about. At the time we visited, they were actually re-roofing a section of it, and that was kind of interesting. Hey, what's your name? Yeah, I understand you know a lot about this Round Barn. Oh, yes, sir, I sure do. What's I'm, your name? I'm Mr. Sam. Everybody in this country knows Mr. Sam Round. Oh, okay. All right, now, uh, you know, Daddy had a farm just right down there on the river. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, all my growing up years, and I, that's where I lived. He uh, was uh, more than happy to show us around and give us some history of the of the barn. And and I, I loved his story about one of the reasons that they made round barns was so that the evil spirits couldn't hide in the corners. I'd never heard that one before. Up in the up in Pennsylvania, up in Massachusetts, they yeah. were very superstitious back in the early days. Oh. And so and so the people that built the round barns, they the farmers, they were afraid the devil was going to catch him if they caught him up there uh, working up in the in the loft up there and in a, in a square cornered barn like that, they would catch him in the corner. Corner. And so now if they built a round <laughs> barn, they you they go around and around. around. Around and you no corners. He never would catch you, okay. and so that's why they. Built. I never heard that. That's no, interesting. No. You didn't just make that up, did you? No, 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 no. That's, Sam's telling the truth. truth. That's that's okay, truth. okay. Now, I still kind of wonder if he didn't make that up. <laughs> now, Mr. Older didn't. Uh, the man that built this barn, he didn't do that. Now he built it because Oklahoma has always been known as what? Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley. Okay. Now, even back in the 1800s, uh, we had tornadoes here in Oklahoma. Sure. And so he said, instead of building a square barn where the wind could hit that flat side and knock it down, Put no guess sides what? On. Look at here. Look at here. Wow. Well, the wind will go well, this way and sure. this way. Sure. I have stood right here. The sure. Wind, the wind it's blowing. aerodynamic. Yeah. The wind blowing 70 miles an hour. And you couldn't even stand up out here. I go inside. You don't even know the wind's blowing. No creaking. Wow. And so uh, that's why he built the round barn. He did a fantastic job on doing that. Fun to talk to. He was a neat. He was a neat guy. I, I only pray that I'm half that energetic when I'm that age. Well, no, Sam, I appreciate it. Very okay, informative. Sure, sure it was a nice to meet you. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna to take you. a walk around here. And, okay. And, okay, guys. Uh, see a little bit more of it. It's a pleasure yeah. to meet you. Okay. Thank you. The round barn in Arcadia, folks. Don't miss it. Davenport has these uh, very nicely done murals on a couple of the buildings downtown, and uh, we stopped to take a look at those. And while we were there, uh, we met Dutch, who he, uh, he pointed out that in one of the murals, the uh, uh, the telephone poles the the artist had originally painted it with uh, only a couple of wires. If you look at these poles here, I insisted with the artist that he put ten pins on each cross arm. Because that's, that's how many telephone lines that's there were. Well, there were 10 circuits there. Right. I'd never noticed that. Well, neither would the common individual, but. Right, <laughs> right. Had a lot of pride in Davenport, I can tell you that for sure. When we're leaving like Gruber, there's this dude like in this wagon, like this horse-drawn wagon that looks like, you know, like the Jodes are heading out to California or something. It was very odd. As we're coming up on it at speed, and I notice he's got a cage underneath with a chicken. Had a had a chicken in a basket hanging off the back of it and stuff. And, and it, the guy parks by this creek and I mean, it was like very odd. 
That's all I can see. I damn near ran into the thing because I'm staring at the chicken underneath this this rolling carny. One of the guys in the crew said he had a laptop, but I, I'm not so sure about that. He had a chicken-powered laptop. I think I think he was just whittling on something. He was searching for whittling. He googled he googled whittle. The chicken and Jason flying, almost flying off the back of the bike. That was the highlight of the day. Hey, put down that remote. We'll be right back.